Only on six, a letter from the White House reaches a local family struggling with medical bills and on the verge of being evicted. We were supposed to be out last week, so we're kind of on borrowed time as it is. After Leon Dalton had a stroke, her husband had to quit his law practice to care for her. They don't have health insurance and are now being forced out of their home with nowhere to go. It's 6 o'clock. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jeff Gianola. And I'm Kelly Day. They've been trying to keep their home for over a year now, but at the end of the day, they just cannot make ends meet. Coin Local 6 reporter Casey Montoya talked to this local family. We've been fighting this you know, for the last year or so trying to hang on. Steve and Leanne Dalton have been together for 37 years. Steve had a promising law practice until everything changed on Christmas Day in 2009. She was in my arms when it happened. A 12-day migraine ended with a stroke. It's changed everything, and so now we're being evicted, and I'm working as many part-time jobs as I can find. The Dawns have lived in this neighborhood for 15 years, but right now things are so bad, they're days away from being homeless. Although Steve was an attorney, when their health insurance costs climbed to more than $1,000 a month, they had to give up coverage. We didn't have health insurance at the time of her stroke. She had too many pre-existing conditions, and we either insurers wouldn't insure her, or the cost would have just been astronomical, and we couldn't have afforded it. Frustrated by running into dead ends, Steve decided to write a letter to the president asking for help. They were surprised when six months later, President Obama wrote them back. But the advice wasn't enough. The letter references some websites, you know, to go to, but, you know, we've been to all of those. Leanne doesn't qualify for many government programs and was denied disability. They're waiting for their appeal to get through the court system, but that could take months. People can't believe that we're not getting all kinds of aid, that we're not qualifying because of our circumstance. And, you know, essentially all we're getting is food stamps and everything else is kind of like a waiting list or a shelter type situation and a waiting list for that as well. Even as they face the biggest struggle of their lives, they're thinking to the future. There's too many hurting people and this isn't just about us. You know, it's if there's help for us and we're able to help ourselves, we will definitely help someone else. Leanne says the entire experience is a love story. Her devoted husband sacrificing it all for her. Our faith is strong and our love is strong and that's what gets us through this. Reporting for you in Lake Grove, Casey Montoya, Coin Local 6.